Oh snap, look what I got. New products. Yes, four new one hour enamel colors in accent sizes. So yes, folks, we have them in pints. Oh snap. So this is something new. Not only are the colors new, but putting them out in pints is a new thing that we're doing for these accent colors. And you'll see why they're accent colors, but they might stay longer. Just depends on whether you love them. I think you're gonna love them. And not only that, I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks how to use these colors to create new colors because of what colors they are. So if this is something you're looking forward to, stay tuned today on Wise Owl Paint Park. All right, so as you can see, we have four brand new, what we're calling accent colors for now, because they're coming in these smaller sizes where you'd use it as an accent, maybe paint just the front door or just the lower cabinets, or utilize it as a mixing color because one of the colors in here is a primary that I've been begging for, that people have been asking for to create new colors. And that is coming home right here. And it's gonna be a yellow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna pop the tops, so I'm gonna stir and show you what it looks like wet. And then I have awesome little samples here to show you guys exactly what it looks like dry with two coats. So we're gonna go through each one. But the thing about these colors that I'm really excited about is the mixing application. So we're gonna to get to that later. First, I'm gonna show you the colors and we're gonna show you some of these crazy, I got mixes all over the place over here of all the different things I've been trying and testing and playing to give you guys more options. Besides just having a yellow, as an example, with all of our amazing blues and blue greens, imagine mix, mixing that yellow with those colors and creating a whole array of brand new greens, which is very hot right now, very in right now. Those greens with the gold hardware is something that is just, just flying out the doors. Paint it with the green, put throw some gold, more modern hardware on it, and it sold the next day. So that's something that I really wanted to share so you knew with go coming home with all of the blues that we already have, man, you could have a, a million different kind of greens. I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna give you some of the ratios as well. So having the video description down below, some of the stuff that I share, the ratios in which it took to get there. But before we get to all that, we're gonna just pop the tops, we're gonna stir and show you wet, we're gonna show you dry, and then we'll get to the mixing. All right, so first and foremost, we have coming home, of course, because it's the yellow that I was really excited about. So we're gonna pop this top open. We're gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's this perfect yellow that you're gonna be able to now utilize for those front doors, which is very popular right now, those yellow front doors, or you're gonna be able to use this to mix with. But I wanted to open the can up, kind of show you what it looks like. So we're, this is our new little pints. Look at how cool that is. And it is definitely a primary yellow. It's not quite as bright in person as you're seeing on camera, but I'll show you the painted finished result. So it's not like, you know, super fluorescent yellow. It's not that at all. It's that perfect, I, I'd say really that quintessential yellow that we all know and love but not highlighter yellow or anything like that. Really beautiful. This is coming home. All right, next up is Kokomo. Spelled just like the song, man. Every time I hear it, I'm like, Aruba, Jamaica. Okay, you don't need to hear me sing, but you get the idea. It's an amazing, look at that, ta-da. It's a blue with green, kind of an aqua green, blue green color, very island-esque is probably the best way I would call it. I'm gonna stir this guy up too to give you an idea. And again, I will have painted final samples for you because sometimes on camera it doesn't quite, or on video it doesn't quite give you the full look to it, but really beautiful. Blue, green, absolutely stunning. Another one that would be really cool is like an accent cabinet in the kitchen. 
or even if you really wanted to get adventurous, say you lived in Florida and you're clear water like where I'm at, you might want this kind of beautiful Kokomo color as your front door. Next up is Bird of Paradise. And this one is very orange, red, burnt orange kind of color that gives a very tropical vibe to it. Again, getting in the, those primary colors realm of things where another one that you could mix and make some cool browns. I don't know, I'm really on this mixing trip here lately and having these colors really has opened up quite a wide range from what we have currently to what you could add to your color collection with. So another really just absolutely beautiful color. Gonna be able to mix that. I think I did uh, actually a really nice salmon color with this, with one of my mixes. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And this is Bird of Paradise. All right, and last but not least, and probably the one I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna stay forever as a quart size is Wanderlust. This one is another in that realm of the deep ocean blue green colors that you know here at Wiseau we love so much. Ta -da. Really amazing, beautiful color. I could definitely see kitchen cabinets in this one. Not even just the lower or a, a accent cabinet, but the whole cabinet. Again, it's a blue with a hint of green, maybe a slight hint of gray to it. It's a darker color, dries darker than what you see here, and I'll have the example to be able to show you guys. But another great one to do some mixing with, and actually mixing together a couple of these colors that we have just here alone is gonna get some really unique colors to start. Again, this is Wonderlust. All right, so now that you've seen them wet, you kind of have an up close look at what they look like. You know, and I know, anytime you paint something, it changes a little bit when it dries. So what do each one of these brand new colors look dry? So what I've done for you is I've done nice little samples. So this one obviously is coming home, that beautiful yellow. And I'm not sure how it shows across in video. Sometimes when I've seen the pictures and videos of that I've been playing around with, it shows a little brighter than it actually is in person. So it is a yellow, it is a primary, but it's a little bit more subdued in the brightness. It's not quite as fluorescent as you would think maybe a primary yellow would be. It's a little softer. So it would be actually more like, uh, I'd say like sunflower color, maybe daisy color. I'm trying to think through something that has a yellow that's not super, super bright yellow. It has a little bit of desaturated look to it. It's probably a good way. So something that would be very cool to come home to. You have it on your front door, very warm, welcoming, inviting color. And I'm excited about this one because it opens up the door to so many different colors that we can mix. And we'll get to that here in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is what you're getting from coming home. This was two coats, just over one of my little sample pieces of wood I have. All right, and then next up is going to be Kokomo. And as I said, Kokomo is that really, it's a more saturated, brighter, blue green color somewhere in the prussian color uh, realm that we have for our chalk synthesis paint but a little bit brighter so it gives you that opportunity to have that really cool pop of color that would be you know able to accent all whole sorts of different ideas you have for your kitchen so if you're doing grays and whites imagine a lower cabinet and a color like this and again another one we could mix and create some other things with Next up is Bird of Paradise. And as I said, it's that orange, red, burnt orange kind of color. Again, another one that's not quite as bright as it might be coming across on camera. So it's a nice subdued uh, burnt orange color. It looks really good when you combine. I mean, look at that. So you could think of like, I'm always thinking of painting furniture. I know we could use these for front doors and cabinets and all sorts of things that we can use our one hour enamel for, but I'm thinking through that color combo on a piece of furniture would be really stunning, especially here in Florida, I think would sell pretty well because that's that really cool tropical themed look that you have to it. 
So this is Bird of Paradise. And again, just another color that we have that's closer to that primary colors that allows, or it's really secondary color, but allows us to be able to mix and create some other things. So just again, this, this full foursome we have for accent colors that we have out in pints now is really something special, not only in the colors that they are, but what we can do with them. Last but not least is Wonderlust. And this one's special. Um, I'm a blue guy. As soon as I popped the can of this, I knew it was going to be one that is probably not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And highly likely will not just be in pints for very long because it is special. It's that really beautiful deep blue with a hint of green. Almost like I'm thinking about when I went on a, a cruise and you're out in the ocean, you're looking down and that water is dark, dark blue, but it has just the ever so slight hint of green to it. That's what you're getting from Wonderlust. And again, you know, thinking through your front door, an accent lower cabinet in one of our homes we had all white with just the, the island was painted in a deep blue color just like this. And that's kind of what makes me think of when I see it. But another really beautiful color and another one that we're going to be able to do some mixing with. I have a couple of ideas that I put together to show you guys. So that's what's going to be next up. I wanted to walk through what colors we have wet and dry after two coats and then we're going to go over some mixes some different things that you can do with each of the colors specifically coming home because one area that we do not have a lot of on our color palette is those greens we have foxtrot botanical and let's see charleston green right but nothing in the lighter green categories which is what's very popular right now so i wanted to go over a couple of things that i was able to create and mix using coming home that might you know up your your game in that green area as far as painting furniture or even doing some type of accent cabinetry having these little accent pints are going to be great just specifically for that you can take what you already have within that blue category and take the pint of coming home mix it as you need to to get enough for your lower cabinet or a dresser i'm going to use it on furniture i mean that's my thing paint furniture for a living so I'm thinking through furniture and what I've seen that's been very popular right now is that sage olive green category of colors that's been very popular painted and sold really quick with the gold hardware so I've come up with a couple little combos I'm going to show you guys and I'll, again in the video description down below I'll have some of the ratios of the things that I've come up with Sorry, right, so now we're down to mixing. So coming home was the real big one of these new accent colors that's gonna allow you to take what we already have, because we have quite a bit of blues and blue greens, but not a whole lot in the lighter green category. So now it's gonna allow you to take any of those blue or blue greens and mix this yellow with. So the first one, of course, I started with was my color, refurbished gentleman. So what we have here is just a little sample board of what I was able to create. Now you can see this one's a little darker. This one's a little lighter. It's still the same combo of the two colors, but one ratio was more than the other. So we have a one for one with refurbished gentleman, which gives you this kind of a, a dry time. Our CSP color kind of looked to it. And then just a hair lighter was two parts coming home, one part refurbished gentleman. And you can see just adding that yellow to the blue gives you those greens. And the more yellow you give, the more yellowy green light color it's gonna be. Or you could add the one to one and go darker with black or lighter with white. And I'll have an example of that as well. But this was the main one I started with because I really wanted to see with, with my refurbished gentleman color, it's that blue with a hint of gray and it tones down the saturation a little bit, which is kind of what I wanted to do with it. So you can see what you're able to get. So this was just one example. I'll have a couple more for you guys to share and then I'll have some pictures I'll share and again, stuff down in the video description. So let's see, what else do we have? So I think this row was one of the rows my wife liked and I did bigger and smaller samples because I did a lot more than I was expecting to do. And I'll do uh, better pictures. I'll probably have them up here in the video for you guys. So we have three different color combinations and I wrote them all on the back here. So what do we have? Let me flip this over. So we have 
Coming Home and Poseidon. I think this was one of the ones my wife liked the most within the more earth tone green kind of color. So this, again, mixing any one of our blues or blue greens with the yellow will give you a whole array of new green colors. So uh, Coming Home and Poseidon. And then we did Coming Home with Poseidon and we did two parts coming home, like we did with a refurbished gentleman, two parts coming home, one parts Poseidon, which just lightened that same earth tone green color up. And then, okay, so here on the end, we have graphic slate and coming home. So now I delve down into the blue gray. So our graphic slate is a darker gray with a really hint of the blue to it. It's a cooler blue gray color. So I decided, hmm, I wonder what the grays would look like. So this is kind of what you're going to get more of the, let me see here, sagey, sage, um, avocado colored look to it. So that's what you get. That's graphic slate and coming home. All right. What else do we have over here? So here's a cool one. This gives you some, some blue options. So what I did with, uh, Wonderlust and Kokomo. So we got Kokomo and renovation gray which is a lighter a really light blue or light gray with a hint of blue and then wonderlust with renovation gray so we were taking those blues so we had these two guys let me put it like here so you can kind of see what i'm talking about so we took a light gray and we we mixed it with those colors one for one to get us just a little bit something different just more of that blue with the hint of gray style color that you have. Okay. All right. And then I went a little darker with a blue with coming home. And this is inkwell. So it gives you a really uh, more of an army green kind of color. And that was inkwell and coming home one for one. And then I got into some other unique colors to mix together to just to see what would happen with coming home. So what we have here is Veronica Vaughn and coming home, which gives us this a little bit darker um, salmon color. So what you'd want to add to that to lighten it up to get, you know, a more peachy salmon kind of color to it is you'd add some white to this. But this is if you went one for one, it gives you that good base to start from. So you could go darker with black or lighter with white. So those would be your two options there. And then here on the end, I made a brown with coming home and I went ahead and mixed a uh, black cherry. So we had black cherry and that coming home. So the purple and the yellow gave us this really cool toned, light colored brown color, which is really cool as well. So again, just different kind of options that you can have to mix and create and make new things. All right, I'm going to show you one more little sample boarding thing that I have. I'm going to take pictures and probably at the end write in what all the different little things, the ratios were for you guys. So we have botanical, so already a green, adding the coming home to it. So not only did we add blue to the yellow to make green, we added green to the yellow to make a lighter green. So again, a little bit brighter green color, right? But lighter in color. And then the next, we're, we I went ahead and mixed colors that we already have from just today, right? So we went ahead and mixed Wonderlust and Kokomo together to get this really cool kind of in-between. So you can see, took those two and made one color all by itself. Really nice. And then the next one down is the three. So I did three, all three together. So if you take all three of these guys and you mix them together, you're gonna to get this really beautiful blue-green color here. So I was playing even further to see. I was trying to keep everything to two colors to kind of give it uh, an easier idea on how to get colors, but sometimes three is just necessary to get exactly what you want. And then right here at the very end was a very cool, let me flip this over, um, brown color, which ended up being my color, Refurbished Gentleman, and our Bird of Paradise. So I took this guy, mixed it with a blue with a hint of gray, and this is what you got. Really unique, right? It's always fun to see, depending on what hue a color is, on what the end result will be, but it was that 
orange, burnt orange red color with my blue with a hint of gray and you got this really nice brown that came out of it. So there you have it, four new colors in all new little cute little pint sizes that we're testing out as an accent color for you to use on accent areas or as I'm using as a mixing agent. So specifically with the coming home, something you could really create a whole bunch of new greens. But at the end of the day, four beautiful new colors, four beautiful new ideas that you might have. If you're using any of these colors for something, please be sure to tag Wise All Paint so we can see what you're doing with them. But for today, I just wanted to go over what they look like wet, what they look like dry, and then also what you can do with them to do some mixing. Hopefully this information was helpful. Hopefully you go ahead and give it a try. If you do, please find your local Wise All retailer nearest you. In the video description down below, I'll have a link to them and a link to our website where you'll be able to purchase some today. Hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.